The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we dive into the obsession and superstitions of Mossy Oak's first employee and president, Bill Sugg, as he chases turkeys in Florida. This is The Obsessed. You know, I, I was fortunate a couple of days ago to, to uh, get a turkey here in Mississippi on Easter morning. And, and when that turkey first popped out there about 75, 80 yards, and I saw it red, my heart just started beating. And I could, I could feel it, and I had to calm myself down a little bit. I've never lost that. And I, the good Lord willing, I never will until the day I die. Uh, and I think I, I say that for every turkey hunter out there. That's what they feel, the sound of that gobble, seeing those gobblers come within range. And, and it's just the excitement of that. Again, being able to, to be in his world, and being able to get him to come into yours and, and finding all kind of ways to, to uh, entice him to get closer. Uh, it is an absolute passion. It's, it's, it's an obsession. You think about it. From, from the time that the last turkey that I'm fortunate enough to be successful with, if it's for me or for someone else, uh, that I've had a hand in calling up. When those wings stop beating, that last one of that season, I'm already ready for the next one. I don't know a turkey hunter that's not superstitious in some way or another. Obviously, if you had success wearing a certain hat, you're gonna wear that. and. If you're Cuz Strickland or you're around Cuz Strickland, I'll just tell you right now, don't throw that hat on the bed because he'll dive over there and pick it up. He said that's bad luck. <laughs> and also, if you're with Ronnie and a black cat that runs across the road, he's going to make you turn around and go to the house a different way. Turkey hunters, you know, have their favorite calls. They have their favorite head nets. And however you do things, you know, if it works, why change it? How about that go to? Well, yeah, you know. People that know me will come up to me and say, turkey season again, right? I said, yep, yep, I do this every year. You know, I guess there's a practical side to it. It's, you're on the go all the time during turkey season. It's a lot quicker just to trim the edges than it is to shave all the way around. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Those that know me, know that I virtually take a sporting goods store to the woods with me in my vest every morning. It probably weighs five, six, seven pounds, but I just like running different calls. And, you know, I've sort of had luck over the years, sounding like a lot of different turkeys. You know, and some of the better tur turkey hunters I know uh, do run multiple calls when they work in turkeys. So push button is one of those things that, that I sort of got into running years ago. Um, and I carry more than one with me. I think I only got two this morning, but usually I'll have one that yep's pretty good and, and one that clucks and purrs. And then years ago, I, I never could prefer being able to cluck and purr with a mouth call. So I started using, using these and, and I just got infatuated with them and I would start I would get several of them. I would find one that would cluck and purr. I would find one that would yep loud when it yep soft. And, and that in conjunction with mouth calls uh, just sort of became my favorite way to do it. Now, locating calls, I use a big old paddle box. have for a long time. And, and I don't want to use it just locating and I'll use it for, I'll use it for calling up close and it just, you find the right one, it makes this turkey a sound, is there anything out there? But I have fun running all of them. You know, turkey hunting is turkey hunting. You know, it, you'll hear discussions all the time that these turkeys are easier than those turkeys and ours are evil and those, those are not and so forth and so on. I think if you hunt a turkey long enough and he gets old enough, he can be tough no matter where he is, Texas, Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, wherever the case may be. Back in the spring of 1986, I got up like I always do and got ready to go hunting and I stopped at the little gas station on the way out of town to get a cup of coffee. And Toxie Hayes was in there with his dad, Mr. Potts Hayes. Toxie was wearing the original bottom lamp. He was sort of hush-hush about it because he was 
he was still working at the other company and sort of moonlighting and getting this idea started and off the ground. And later that summer, Taxi called me. He needed a model to wear the old stuff, the old World War II camos, so he did a comparison. And I think the original tagline on that ad was, which camo would you rather wear? I sort of got involved and started taking a couple of days off from my insurance business to knock on some doors and, and call on some retailers. And by December, we sort of realized we had a tiger by the tail and, and we were off and running. And it's been an amazing journey for over 30 years. golf or even baseball people say you're going to fail a lot more than you're going to be successful. You know, you, who think you make a living doing something 33% of the time or better and yet, and yet make it to the Hall of Fame. Turkey hunting, the percentage is a lot less than that. <laughs> so it's never just the killing of the turkey, it's everything that goes with it. It's the companionship, the friendship, teaching others, calling turkeys for others, and watching kids have an experience that, that they've never had before. For years, we had the original tree logo that folks had followed our brand for all the years since the inception 30 plus years ago. Along the way, our director of marketing decided we needed to, to basically modernize that logo a little bit and, a lot, and out of that experience and doing that to the logo we have today, uh, we came up with a tagline that is probably the most perfect tagline for what we do from a business standpoint, from a hunting standpoint, but all the way back to Toxie's roots and all of our roots in turkey hunting. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. I don't think if we'd have studied it for a thousand years, we could have come up with anything that better adequately described the love that we have for the outdoors, the conservation, and especially turkey hunting all the obsession and everything that goes with it. I'm Bill Sugg and I'm obsessed.